we book this week. Right? I'll call you on Sunday. We fix it up for next week. Call the next person on the list. Do you understand? All right? Very, very, very powerful concept invitation. All right? Different cultures, different things. Malaysia, you can call somebody at 11 o'clock in the night. UK, you call them up to 7 p.m. You, do, you can't call them later than that. All right? America, don't call at all. All right? They maybe send voice messages. America works on voicemail. You understand? All right? Because I realize Americans don't use mobile phone SMS at all. Okay? Now, because technology has changed after six years, everyone is doing invitation by SMS. They found the solution. Hi, I'm looking for two partners. <laughs> Fantastic business opportunity. They already ready made type and they send it mass to 150 people. <laughs> Hello, wake up and smell the coffee, la, okay? There's no shortcut. Personal call. You can send a message, try calling you. Something important to discuss, please call me back. Professional. Do you understand? All right? So the invitation is done over the phone. Now, invitation sometimes is done face to face, correct? You meet people everywhere and you want to catch the guy, invite him to a business presentation. What do you do? <coughs> hey, hi, long time no see, how's life? Are you still working in the job? <laughs> you understand? Everything fine. Uh, how are you? What are you doing? Oh, life has been mega exciting the last past few months. I'm still at, at the job, but I started something on my own. It's fantastic. I partnered with a Hong Kong based company. Very exciting. Actually, hey, good that I met you. All right? We're having one of our get togethers on uh, Tuesday. All right? Where some of the key global players are coming down to share some latest updates on our business concept. All right? Would you be okay to drop by? Hey, no, Tuesday, my grandmother's wedding and I. My cat had diarrhea last week. I got to monitor it for another seven days. Okay, give me your card. I'll give you a call. We'll catch up. Posture. No, la, come, la, I pick you up. Please, la. <laughs> My upline said I got to bring one fella. You don't come, he's gone. You know, please. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. You understand? All right? You see, the problem with you, the minute you become desperate, you fail in network marketing. Do you realize that? The minute you are there, anything you do out of desperation, proves to be fail, failure. You must always maintain your posture. So invitation is posture. Are you guys with me? Yes. All right? Now, the second part of basic building block number four is the art of prospecting. All right? Which I've expanded into the new module, which is called rule number two. Okay? You can buy that video and get more details. Rule number two means that your name list, all right, must always increase. It cannot remain stagnant. It must increase by 10% every month. And how do you do that? By prospecting. Prospecting means going out there and finding new people to put on your list, not to show the plan. That's where a lot of people mistake prospecting. They said, I'm going out prospecting, but man, then they come back, I showed five plans. I said, hey, prospecting showed five plans. You understand? Must be from Tilo Intan. You understand or not? <laughs> All right? Prospecting means you're going out there to look for prospects to put on your list. All right? Showing the plan is the next block. We talk about that in a while. All right? So basic building block number four, art of invitation. Keep it short and simple. All right? The professional approach the not professional approach, your hot, cold, warm list, your approach changes according to that. Okay? Now the new approach is back to the product. You can approach the invitation with Biodis. You can approach the invitation with Trinet. Very effective for me. Alright? Okay? And now is prospecting. Now prospecting means you are now a networker. You're not a housewife. You're not an engineer, you're not a doctor, you're not a writer, you're not a pharmaceutical, whatever, you know. You're nothing. You are a networker. Everything else is part-time, this is full-time, you understand? You're not a banker, that's part-time, this is full-time. 
Alright? So now you are a full-time networker. What is networking? Talking to? <laughs> talking to who? People. Talking to who? People. I watched the last video, so funny. We still don't allow animals to sign up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I tried. I tried to talk to the QI directors. Alright, I tried to convince Mr. Vijay to allow at least camels <laughs> and horses. But I'm still working on it. So right now it's only human beings. Alright? So the art of prospecting means when you interact with society, alright, you must come back home with new prospects. Simple. When do you interact with society? From the minute you step out of your door. The minute you step out of your door, you interact with society. Before networking, you took it for granted. Hello, uncle, nice meeting you. No name, no phone number. You understand? No? You understand? Go to a shop, buy a phone for 2,000 ringgit. The least you can do is put him on your prospect list. Go to a doctor to get MC because you're too lazy to go to work. At least get the doctor's number. Do you understand? So the art of prospecting is basically having your radar on. All networkers, after you press proceed, and I agree on the internet. Is it proceed and I agree? Accept. <coughs> proceed, I agree, accept. And accept again. And again, right? And then you do that, you are now officially have a built-in radar to detect prospects. I'm not kidding. You cannot see it, but I can. So the person sitting in the house, you just sign up, your radar is on. Alright? What it means is, when you go to a party before networking, why do you go to a party? Nothing. Go there, walk around, meet people, have a drink and go back home. Alright? It's a social responsibility. But now you go to a party, you are a networker. What's your name? Bond, James Bond, you know, you gotta say. <laughs> you, you understand? So you go to a party and you walk in. And you walk in and you straight away look around. Now, don't walk into the party suspiciously. <laughs> don't walk into the party and go like. <laughs> don't do that. You'll never be invited for another party. Walk into the party, cool. Be cool. Like John Travolta, you understand? You walk in, posture. Okay? Alright? Walk around, and then your radar is on. And your radar is working. One guy standing alone there. Alright? And, and you walk, right? Now, if it's a lady, posture a little bit. Don't walk like, you know. <laughs> don't, don't scare. She will be, excuse me. <laughs> walk with posture, cool. You go to the thing, take some desserts, and look at the guy. Hi. Right. Let's say it's a bride and groom's engagement party. No, if engagement, they won't be bride and groom. A, a couple's engagement party, okay? And you meet the guy. Hi, oh, you know, I'm Manolette's friend. Oh, I'm Stella's friend. Oh, okay, interesting, nice meeting you, you know? All right, okay, so what do you do? What's your name first? All right, Shakira. Hi, I'm Patman. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, I, I sing, I do concerts. What do you do? Well, I run my own business, all right? I presently do a global international e-commerce business. Very interesting. Can we exchange name cards? All right? I'll give you a call one of these days. Catch up for a cup of coffee. It was nice meeting you. That's it. All you wanted was that square paper <laughs> with Shakira, Patman, Senati Raja, <laughs> and the firm. <laughs> and the phone number. And you go back home the same night and don't 
staple the card to your name list. A lot of people do that. Staple, 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 staple. Take paper, staple.